tenacity and will to dominate, this is a mini documentary about Karabao warriors and their hunt for two buffaloes in Kota Blut, Sabah. Water buffaloes are used widely for transportation, rice field works, and also entertainment. Aside of that, water buffaloes' meats are also considered an expensive delicacy for many events in Sabah. But with its big horns and massive body, hunting a karabao is a serious occupational hazard that only the brave are willing to participate. Karabao, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Dah kon cara betiru, dah ujo mengodokup ni makai kuda si nembet tak, eh mana tak padang si nembet ngok kuda. Tapi betiru ngai kikonyo biasa no segulung kajamon jadinya no dangai lalang. Jadi ya mendokon perlu ujo mengodokup eh engguno anu lah itu tenaga jamu ramai ramai gina pung jono bagai si nembet sampai terkule. Our journey took us to Kota Belud, a town located west coast division of Sabah, through the eyes of Suhaimi Salim, one of the descendants of Karabao hunters, to see how they conduct a Karabao hunt for a wedding festivity. Our production team was treated with breakfast before heading out for the hunt. Meanwhile, scouts has confirmed the location of the Karabao. About half an hour later, we set out to hunt with Guan Haji Hantar Sulat, owner of the wedding event. Amun kami ngedokop diam kawasan itu no song-song mitu sampai po no kami dibilapu. The hunters spotted the karabau herd along the muddy river bank and trees. Soon enough, the hunt starts. While others gave chase, a hunter scouts the exit perimeter with one guarding the front and another on top of a tree ready to trap a karabao's neck if it runs beneath him. During filming, our camera crew almost came face to face with angry karabao before a stampede happened. But luckily, we managed to get away. The first karabao was successfully caught and a makeshift pulley was created to pull the karabao out to the open area. The hunter uses a unique trick by grabbing the karabao's crotch to make it jump onto the truck. Meanwhile, the other team chases the last karabao. Surprisingly, during the chase, the karabao runs between houses and cars and yet never hit any one of the properties. It's as if the karabao has some form of respect to the owners and is just using its natural roots to escape. Our hunters finally caught the massive karabao, but they were having trouble pulling it out due to its sheer strength and tenacity. And while loading it into the truck, the karabao still tried to ram the hunters by using his big horns. But finally, the hunters succeed in subduing it and loading it into the truck. A huge success for the hunters. Another incident happened at the loading area. The massive karabao still fought, but again, it was subdued. Meanwhile, the smaller karabao is calmer. A pandan leaf was tied on the top of its head as a symbol to acknowledge its sacrifice for the kenduri session. Finally, after the job done, we rest our tired bodies and a happy Tuan Haji prepares his wedding kenduri. Truly, only the brave can be a Karabao hunter, and hopefully this tradition will continue and survive in the hearts of younger generations.